If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. If you don't have a copy of that yet, I'll drop a link below for you to grab it. This video is a short one and it's gonna stand alone because I wanted to make sure you don't miss this setting. This is one of the rookie mistakes that I see on a lot of websites with blogs. I don't wanna make sure that you know where to adjust it. Okay, I am back in my Sway template for service providers. We have just set up a blog. We used the grid layout. And now I wanted to show you something that's really important. Once you get a lot of blog posts loaded, you're going to want to make sure that you come into the settings for your blog and scroll down to posts per page. And the reason I wanna show you this is, let me just set this to three and save it. What will happen is you see I have three posts across and then for older posts, the next one is loaded on the next page. Now, do I think it should be three? Absolutely not. It should be more in this 20 range, but what can happen if we have three posts across and we stop at 20, it's gonna look like there's a post missing and it's just so awkward. So what you want to do is go back into the blog settings, scroll down to post per page, and make sure this is a multiple of the number of columns that you have. So if you set it to three columns, you want this to be a multiple of three columns. You can make it 15, 12, 18, anything like that. If it's four, you're going to want to go 12, 16, 20. And that way you don't get that weird spacing at the bottom. And this is something that for your user just may not feel intuitive. If they see spaces here where there should be blog posts and then an older, they're going to think that this is it. So just make sure that you have set that post per page to be a multiple of the number of columns on your page. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.